Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Today's Friday, January 26th. Hope everybody had a good week. Let's take a quick look at the markets for the week and then we'll jump into the trades. Uh, starting with VIX. So started to contract at the beginning of the week. Caught a little bit of a bid on Wednesday and Thursday and today before contracting. I think I think they were just kind of uh, pumping a little premium in in anticipation of FOMC next week, but VIX settled in at 13.26. <coughs> S&P kind of grinded higher. NASDAQ a little up and down. Russell kind of sideways. And the Dow uh, ended the day with a new all-time high. Uh, gold, a little choppy to sideways. Silver uh, ended a little bit, uh, a little bit higher. Notes and bonds, kind of choppy sideways. 10-year yield settling in at 4.14 sideways for the week. Oil, a uh, big rally, up uh, up to $78 a barrel. Natty gas, uh, mostly up, had had a kind of a flush down on Thursday. Uh, soybeans, up and down. Wheat, up and down. And corn, up and down. Euro, a little bit lower. Pound, sideways, choppy. Uh, and Bitcoin finally caught a bid today uh, to end the week higher, so settling in at about 42335 All right, so let's jump into the trades for the week. Uh, I officially made it out of my drawdown for year-to-date, so that felt good. Um, I did slip a little bit back uh, yesterday, so but did hit a new all-time equity high, so... Feels good when that happens. That was kind of a painful drawdown, to be honest. Uh, all right, so let's go through zero DTE first. Uh, all right, so one thing, it, one, the first strategy is an overnight iron condor. Three small winners there, plus 14.25 on the week. Uh, no re entries. AM trades. Three for three on the AMs. Let me refresh that. Uh, exactly 8,000. Actually, after this, uh, after the long settle on this one, it'll be a little bit shy of 8,000 for those three trades. And then uh, DKS, consistent, five for five, four, a little over 5,500 in profits. Uh, no FOMC trades, but we'll get some of those next week. I don't think any, I did any JSPs, yeah. Uh, and then power hour, power hour was green for the week. Nothing, uh, nothing special. Uh, actually it was 2000, but there's another 2000 that'll come in after this tranche three settles. Cause I, I let it expire. Um, in fact, show you here. This was when I let, I let go to the bell. So that'll add another 2067. To that total so about four thousand for power hour uh, monday was great tuesday was green uh, or excuse me tuesday i didn't trade it wednesday was green thursday was red and then today was uh green by about two thousand next up is my pm iron condors i don't think i did any yeah yeah, I kind of let a few of those go in anticipation of uh, move, making room for a new strategy that I've been testing this week or this month. Uh, and then quiet lunches ended up, I think, a scratch. Yeah, I had three trades and basically plus 320 for the week on quiet lunches. Rick, I just had one, and it was a discretionary one. Nothing really fit the bill, uh, so it took a small size discretionary for plus 1100. My O2 call calendar, just one trade, small, scratch 100 bucks. And then my one DTE has been doing great. Three for three, uh, a little over 8,900 on those three trades for my one DTE trades. Uh, no dynamic butterfly closes. Uh, all right, so dynamic calendars. Red on calendars due to my TGIF, and those things just continue to uh, not work like they once did. 
Um, mostly, and, and it's mostly due to, I mean, obviously volatility is playing a role, but it's this one here, minus 4,600, um, mostly due to just the range from when I'm putting them on until I'd be taking them off. They are just not holding their range. So minus 4,200 on, um, on calendars would have been slightly green except for the TGIF. And then let's see, uh, directional futures as a little bit red. Yeah, minus 930 on my directional future trades this week. Uh, Iron Ducks just closed one out for a $190 winner. Uh, MOC trade. So this is a, uh, I, I put the kind of the mini course in our, in our day trading course channel. Uh, just had one. I've only had one since I since I put that out. One opportunity, and it was this one. So plus 1650 on that market on close imbalance trade. On option selling, uh, two close trades. One in VXX for 926, and then a small loss on an ES Hedgehog. And then lastly, portfolio margin. Uh, so that, that P&L number's not gonna be correct because this one's still open and uh, the uh, a portion of that will settle out. So that'll, that will probably, I can't remember, I think somewhere between 500 and $1,000 winner. So that may be closer to like 2000, but um, had a had a, just a couple little little winners in portfolio margin. Uh, the o the only other thing I was going to mention was my um, my zero DTE strategy that I've been testing, and so that is where is it zero DT NTT yeah. So um, I've been using our NTT indicator as a way of determining when to get in. And that's, that's done pretty, pretty well. In fact, some of these losses were, I decided to size up just at the wrong time. So had my size been equal, this would have been even better, but 75% um, win rate on 23 trades, a little over 6,100. So I'm gonna continue to make that a bigger part. I'm gonna be working for the next, over the next week, I'm gonna be working on my plan for February. Uh, and it's going to involve uh, more of this and less of some of my other strategies. So I'll be putting that out to the community uh, as far as what my, what my plan will be as far as strategy allocation um, here in the next week or so. All right, everybody have a good weekend. Talk to you soon.